to go down today. Possibly the biggest news of this generation is going down today. Now, take it with a grain of salt, but reliable, reliable leaker in the past has said that we're going to be getting the PlayStation 5 pre-order information today that's right according to leaker robert serrano who has leaked information he correctly specifically um leaked the scheduled rescheduled date of the playstation 5 event before sony announced it <coughs> he's saying that today pre-orders will be going live sometime today for the playstation 5 and in fact, not just sometime today, but they're saying that it's going to be live at 3.30. Um, I don't know if he's the same source, but someone else has said that today at around 3.30 Eastern Standard Time, uh, the PlayStation 5 uh, pre-orders will go up. Now again, again, I can't emphasize. These are all leaks. Time will tell if it happens, if it becomes true, but you better believe I will be checking the internet. Hey, follow me on Twitter. At me on Twitter. Once the PlayStation 5 goes live so your boy can get the pre-order. I'm probably going to get the all-digital version. Yeah. Probably just going to go all-digital. You know what I'm saying? I don't be using discs anymore, DVDs. I, I, I don't do that. I'm just get all my games digital. So, I'm going to probably get the all digital version. Interesting to see. <coughs> this also means we're going to get the price. Interesting to see what the price discrepancy will be between the disc version and the discless uh, PlayStation 5. Fingers crossed. I hope, hope, hope. Please let this be true. Because it's getting late in the game. If these consoles are launching holiday and we get into the end of July, where's mid July now, and we still don't have a, um, a price, um, retailers need a plan, gamers need to prepare. We, we need to, they need to do all this, bro. If you're going to get your shipments right to which locations have the most pre orders, they, they need to get them out there, bro. Usually by E3. When consoles launch, we have the price, all that is um, revealed at the E3 prior to the console launch. It's a month past what E3 would have been. 2020 has been a crazy year, but PlayStation 5, we have to see. And, bro, this would fly in the face of Xbox because Xbox has um, already announced that they're having their event July 23rd. If Sony announces the price and pre-orders before the Xbox event, those PlayStation 5 pre-orders going up, bro. Um, people are gonna um, pre-order and get the PlayStation 5 regardless of what uh, Microsoft announces. So time will tell, time will tell. Microsoft will have to undercut them with the price. I think right now at this point, the price point for the Xbox Series X will be their saving grace. And this is why. Check out this news on <coughs> Xbox Series X now. I previously showed you guys in another video the box art for the PlayStation 5 has been leaked. It looked dope. Go check it out. But here is the box art for the Xbox Series X. Notice anything different? Anything the same? All right. It's pretty much the same box art for the Xbox One, but at the top, Instead of saying Xbox One, it just says Xbox. And 
there's that big sticker <laughs> right there that says optimize for series x xbox is pretty much telling y'all y'all gonna buy this 400 500 dollar console for the same games but we got a big sticker on it <laughs> that covers up the box part a good chunk of the art that just lets you know that the game will run better look better on the xbox series x and here's my dilemma bro that's not enough for me bro that's not enough for me to warrant a upgrade for hardware this is the first time xbox is doing this this is the first time a big platform holder is doing this not really trying to jump a generation but the same games um regardless of what xbox console you get i think i, I got an xbox one x and i think i'm gonna be good bro if i want to play halo i got it right here i don't think it's enough um to warrant that just that op that sticker nah bro i ain't paying 500 dollars for a sticker now, I have to keep it real, man. I just tweeted this out on Twitter. I was saying, man, I'm almost done with my um, PlayStation backlog. I went through all of my Xbox backlog. Now I'm going through my um, PS5 backlog. And I tweeted this out on Twitter. I said, only PlayStation this generation has had consistent, consistent first party, a consistent first party lineup and a consistent third party lineup. Nintendo has had good first party game, not even consistent at this point. A good first party lineup, trash third party games. Xbox on the other hand, trash first party games, except for Halo, Gears and Forza, we all know that. But good third party games. PlayStation had both at this gen. I'm, I'm just speaking objectively, bro. If you go on Metacritic, the PlayStation exclusives, they're in the 90 tier. Most of them, game, they got Game of the Year awards this gen. Xbox can't say that. Nintendo, third-party games run like garbage. And so, I'm just keeping it a buck, bro. That's why I'm getting a PlayStation 5 at this point. Because even with the PlayStation 5, I feel like I'm spending $400, $500, and this is the only place I'm going to be able to play Miles Morales. Love it or hate it that they're forcing you to um, get the hardware to play this game. But I like that, bro. I like when I um, buy something I feel like it's new, fresh. Even with the controller, the, um, the PlayStation 5 controller. Like, the controller just looks so new and futuristic. I can use my Sabre Elite 2 on my Xbox Series X. If I get my Xbox Series X... <coughs> This would be the controller I would use. Same controller. I like newness, bro. So, it is what it is. I'm not hating. If you get X, if you don't have an Xbox One X, it'll probably be worth the upgrade for the Xbox Series X. If you have a One X already, I gotta see the comparison. I gotta see how the games run on both consoles before I be like, yo, it's time to go, bro. All right. Next news item, we had the Ubisoft Forward event yesterday. I uh, go check out my live reaction, and it was lackluster. No, nothing that really jumped out to me. I was like, "Whoa, I gotta get this." I'm not a huge Watchdog fan. They spent a good chunk of the presentation on Watchdog Legions. They also talked about Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I am an Assassin's Creed fan, but. Uh, the game, it, it, you can tell this is a PlayStation 4, Xbox One game. I was looking for like some next-gen stuff, bro. So, it was all right. And, bro, this game right here. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, those Sony exclusives. Um, Sony just launched a new Ghost of Tsushima Japanese trailer. Man, this game, <laughs> this is the game, this is when they had the state of play. I was like, man, let me go check out some of these PlayStation exclusives. Bro, this game is looking lit, bro. It's looking lit. This is looking like a next-gen game, bro. Um, so, Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, this game looks way better than Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, Ghost of Tsushima launches at Friday, this Friday, the 17th. I already got it pre-ordered, pre-loaded. Oh, I have it pre-ordered. I don't know if it's going to pre-load on my PlayStation 5. Day one, going to be playing it. On my gaming channel, I am going to start my playthrough of Shadow of Colossus, uh, the remake. 
I'm going to try to beat that before Ghost of Tsushima. Obi-Wan plays gaming championships. Make sure you subscribe to both my YouTube channels. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything I talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, wait, hold on. Let me get my kids in. Hold on. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro. Where's the glasses? Oh, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo gaming, bro. I'm so used to, I used to always say that. <laughs> Not anymore. I'll see y'all later. This is. <laughs> you still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait there's more do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy become a sponsor three ways to join one subscribe on twitch if you have twitch prime you can do it for free two click the join button right here on youtube and become a member and the third way to join patreon.com backslash ob1 plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later Deuces.